So many receive great advice, but few profit from it. So I wrote this book called Wealth Made Easy, where every single page is basically a hack of how someone created their wealth and prosperity. Definitely need to check that out. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm going to give you one because I can see your brain going right now. Yeah. The first guy I, I called up, he made it in real estate. And I, and I said, how did you make a billion dollars in dirt and raw land? He goes, oh, that's easy. He goes, time plus land is wealth. I go, what does that mean? He goes, all I do is I look for a town anywhere in the world that's growing at 25% a year. Go, go on Google Maps, it's free. He goes, here's where it gets complicated. I look for Broadway, Main Street, and I draw a line out eight miles and I buy the dirt. That's it. Then I rent that dirt to farmers who pay the lease so it's free and I get vegetables for years. As the town continues to grow at 25%, it ends up on my plot. Since I'm on Main Street and I own the biggest land, that's what I sell to the big box stores for right. 800 times what I paid. Wow. Billion dollars. That's an amazing strategy. And it's so simple, really, because that dirt is cheap at that time, especially eight miles down Main Street. That's right. But eventually, if you sit on it for long enough, the town's going to catch up, and that's when you make the big exits. Well, and I realize that it's these people that have these exits. It's kind of interesting, too, watching the common denominator People worth four zero, forty million dollars and below are the new Beverly Hillbillies. These are the people that are cool. They got enough dough to fly, you know, first class, take their family anywhere they want to go. People worth a billion dollars, pretty stoked people. Yeah. <laughs> they got a good life. Yeah. But these people worth a hundred million or three hundred million are kind of miserable. And I don't know if I'd wish that upon too many wow. people. That's and, interesting. Yeah. And why, why is that? Well, you think about to you and me, a hundred million dollars is a lot of money, but you're not even one tenth of a billionaire. You know, you're, you're, you're so far away. Right. And so when you're trying to keep up with the Joneses, that you're still, it's, you're, you're The grinding. Joneses are playing at a way higher level. That's right. And you're carrying three cell phones and, you know, your health and usually things digest because you're trying to work towards this goal. And it's just interesting watching these people. But again, 40 million and below, pretty happy. Billionaires, super happy. Mm -hmm. These hundred millionaires, ugh, it's just kind of interesting to watch. Yeah, who would think with $100 million that you'd be unhappy? Well, think about it. If you're keeping up with the Joneses, you, it's not enough money to, you know, buy a sports team. It's not enough money to, you know, do a major thing. But right. it's, it's, you're successful. It's all get out more than most people. But you're so far away from the big leagues. Mm -hmm.